Welcome to one and all. I am Vasantha, Department of Computer Science, Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. Today we are going to start with the session 11. Whereas in the 10th session we explained regarding main term, how to represent main term, how to represent max term, their designation. I am to recall that thing and then I am to continue with the problems. Whereas main term, main term is nothing but as a product of all the variables x y z it's a product of all the variables without without bar for the variables whereas max term max term is a sum of all the literals with or without complement for the given equation main term is a product of variables whereas max term is a sum of all the variables there the variables may be complemented or without complement also we can write today i am to explain few problems on mean term whereas the chapter weightage is totally nine marks for two marks they don't ask these type of question find mean term for the given expression like that they will going to ask total weightage is nine marks out of nine marks two marks two questions and one mark five marks one question for two marks they will ask find the mean term or identify the mean term, identify the max term, what is the designation, like that they are going to ask. Now to explain this with few example problems, what are the fundamental product for each of the input words input words a b c d equals double zero one zero a b c d equals zero double one zero a b c d equals triple one zero right s o p for the expression find or write SOP. SOP means sum of product expression. In the question they are given that ABCD equals the value. Then how to represent first write down. Whereas in the solution first mention which are the variables they are given. What will be the value of that? ABCD equals 0010. The second one they are given ABCD equals 0110. Now, for the last one, A, B, C, D equals 3, 1, 0. Then what exactly it implies? In mean term, if you have 0, what exactly the mean term represents? If you have 0, then it represents a complement. Then here, for the variable A, B, C, D, first represents first variable A, B, C, D. If it is 0, then it put complement. Second one also 0, then for B also to put complement. For C we have 1, then don't put any complement. For D it is 0, then put complement. This first one. In the second one, once again can write down A, B, C, D. But for the first one it is 0, then put complement only for the first one. Second and third don't put any complement. For the last one you have to put complement. Then here it implies A, B, C, D. For the first three it is one, then don't put complement. Only for the last one they have to put complement. Therefore, sum of product equals all the things you have to represent in some format. Now, A bar, B bar, C, D bar plus in between plus operator. Then A bar, B, C, D bar plus A, B, C, D bar. This is your sum of. See here? sum of product form it is in the format of sum of product form see the question what are the fundamental products for each of the inputs in the question they given the variables a b c d these are the values then write sum of product expression the final expression is sum of product expression now we will explain with few more problems the second problem is write the truth table in the question they will going to give the truth table and then you have to solve like that also they may go to ask 
otherwise expression also they will going to give and then you have to solve second problem a truth table a truth table has output 1 for each of these inputs each of these inputs a b c d equals double zero double one a b c d equals zero one zero zero one zero one a b c d equals one triple zero what are the what are the fundamental products what are the fundamental products and write mean term expression then how to write find out in the solution first mention values a b c d equals what are the values they given double zero double one Next, A, B, C, D equals 0, 1, 0, 1. Next, A, B, C, D equals 1, 3, 0. Now, which implies what are the mean term that I have to mention here. Once again, A, B, C, D. First two, we have 0. Then for first two, you have to put complement. For A bar and as well as for B bar, then C, D. Next, A, B, C, D. Now, only for first and third it is bar. Next once again A, B, C, D. Now for first one, one we have then don't put any complement. For the remaining three you have to put complement. Therefore, mean term. Therefore, mean term equals. Mean term or sum of product equals. A bar, B bar, C, D plus. A bar B C bar D plus A B bar C bar D bar. This is the expression. Sum of product expression or we can say mean term expression. All the things sum of here plus represents sum. Sum of product. Here if you don't have any operator then it is considered as a dot operator. Dot operator is the product. It is sum of product form. Now is it clear? I am to explain one more problem on the same pattern and then we will to explain the canonical form. How to find canonical form? What do you mean by canonical form? That we will explain after another two problems. Consider one more problem. Find, find the mean term for the following. For example, first one, x bar, y bar, z. Then mean term is here, 0. First we have bar, that's why 0, y bar, 0, then 1. What exactly this double zero one represents, the output become. What is the designation for that? 1, that is m1. Is it? Because in the previous class I told you how to represent the designation. For this one, 0, 0, 1 represents m1. For example, one more we will take A, B bar, C, D bar. Then how to represent? A means 1. B bar here we have 0. Then 1, 0. This is nothing but M, 10. Designation of that. If you are directly, if you are not able to find out, then find the designation first and then write down the value. Like this, we can able to find the designation of the given variables. Next, I am going to explain with few one more problems. Find the mean term for the equation. Find the mean term for A, B plus C. Mean term for A, B plus C. Then how to find mean term? See the first part here, A, B only we here we have. Whereas see the second part, only C here we have. In mean term, in each part compulsory we required all the variables. That's why here we come to know that C is missing and here in this part we are missing A and B. 
If I want, I can represent here in this format that is AB into 1 plus 1 into 1 into C I can write. Here 1 is nothing but I can take AB for 1 C plus C bar we can take. C plus C bar missing variable that is nothing but 1 like an I can take. And for this one A is missing that is why A bar plus A. B is missing B bar plus B then C I can take like this whichever variable is missing that variable plus their complement of that variable you have to take then we can easily find out the min term as well as max term. Now for the given equation A B plus C here we have C is missing that is why A B for C write down C plus C bar. C plus C bar represents 1 that is why I used to write C plus C bar plus A plus B A plus A bar first part 1 and B plus B bar it represents 1 then C. By using distributive law distribute the variables A B C first part I will take plus A B C bar plus once again distribute this this A with B and then A with B bar next A bar B A bar B bar distribute that once again that is a b plus a b bar plus a bar b plus a bar b bar into c. Now distribute that once again a b c plus a b c bar plus multiply here this with the remaining variable a b c plus a b bar c plus a bar b c plus a bar b bar c. By using distributive law, we will distribute. Now see, all the part contains all the variables A, B, C, 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 A, B, C. It means that it is in the format of mean term format, but try to remove the duplicates. Here also A, B, C, here we have, here also we have A, B, C. Then only one time I can write X plus X is nothing but X. In the same way, I can write A, B, C plus. Now see here, only for C bar here we have, just check. We do not have any bar then write on this A B C bar only for B is bar just check only for B is bar then A B bar C plus A bar B C plus A bar B bar C this is your main term format here see it is in the format of sum of product these products contains all the variables where the variables may complement or without complement. They say like this format we can find the mean term for the given expression. Now is it clear? I am to explain with one more problem. Find the mean term for the given equation x plus y. Then how to find out that? That we will explain now. Find the mean term for x plus y. Now see the equation. Here y is missing and here x is missing. That's why what I have to do x into 1 plus y into 1. 1 is nothing but I can take y plus y bar. Plus here x is missing. I can reverse here x plus x bar into y. Now distribute this x y plus x y bar plus x y plus x bar y. Remove the duplicates. Here x y is there, here also x y is there, one time I can write x y plus x y bar plus x bar y. This is the mean term. Like this format, we can able to find the mean term for the given expression. Mean term is a thing but it is a product of all the literals. I can show that in sum of product format also we can say. It means that till now we explained what do you mean by mean term, how to represent the variables the designation, how to find mean term, how to calculate that regarding that we explained. Next class we would explain the canonical form of mean term as well as max term. Thank you for all of you.